That's right, Andy. And, you know, about 10 minutes ago, I told you all we were going to head down to the strip mall, but then I came alongside this lovely woman. Please tell me your first and last name. Hi, my name is Ruby Cagney Kurzik. Okay, Ruby, I just saw you, um, you know, you came along. You told me you live in this neighborhood, and I saw you earlier when I was coming down from the strip mall about half a block that way. Um, but I didn't stop you because I heard you yell out and say our whole neighborhood has been ruined. I know after speaking with yes. you just now <laughs> that your house, thankfully, is okay, but it's not the same for your neighbors in the area. Can you tell me what it's like for them? and just from what you've seen. Oh, our neighborhood is totally devastated, especially down the strip mall, down by Pizza Hut and stuff is pretty much gone now. But my house, thank God, we were spared and stuff, but the house across my street from us, their garage is totally gone now. Um, they're missing part of their roof. The house kitty corner from us has trees on top of it. My neighbor's house around the corner is almost completely destroyed. But our neighborhood, we're definitely going to take a while to recover. But thank God, it looks like everybody is safe and accounted for. So that's the good news of it. Yes, ma'am. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And you, you mentioned the garage. I mean, I almost asked you what garage because I didn't see it mm -hmm. until I saw the garage door right there. And then you can see where it's just been completely actually just torn down from the side. We can see the insulation up top. I see your neighbors right there across the street. Have you been able to talk to anyone in your neighborhood so far? Yes, we've been able to touch base with basically almost all our immediate neighbors around us that runs across the street here. And um, Jerry over here on the cross from the corner from us, along with Rick and stuff further down the road from us that they all have stormage damage and everything to the house but they are all okay along with their pets and their kids and everybody and their families so that's the good news and speaking of family I was just talking with you and your brother and you said you guys actually had plans not too long uh, to get rid of these trees that have now yeah. come down in your neighborhood tell me what when did this happen and, and what was it like for you inside when you heard I'm sure a loud crash oh my gosh okay so the last thing I literally remember is the warnings like well the warning came through and thank goodness we had about 10 minutes time to gather up pets and get to the basement mm -hmm. But once the actual winds came and hit the neighborhood, they hit full force and they hit fast and they hit hard. And it just sounded like they always say that tornadoes and stuff sound like a freight train just barreling down on your house. And that's exactly what it felt like. My um, brother and I were both home. My father was at work and our ears just popped and the house just started literally just shaking and our ears popped and I just had time to just let out just a scream of like, what the? F um, sorry, my language, but um, just screaming like, what the? And just had enough time for that. And as soon as I got the scream out, the last thing that I saw is we have just little itty bitty windows of our basement that are just big enough, you know, to this look out of. And the last thing that I saw was uh, a giant oak tree from my backyard. Mm -hmm just going literally sideways, horizontally across my yard. And then just give us a second for those of you watching at home, we're just gonna walk straight forward uh, with the homeowner and just take a look at some of the damage. Although her house has not uh, been touched, we definitely see all of these down power lines and, and trees. Look right there for me. Look at all that those wires that are just intertwined in that tree right there. Um, let me ask you, with all these trees coming down and I see the wires intertwined between all these branches, uh, how, what's do, power looking like for you guys? We do not have power and actually we just had brand new fiber optic internet put in on Friday and if you look at the side of our house over there you can see where the box was ripped off the side of the house that had the internet wires mm. and our internet wires are now ripped out and have been destroyed so our brand new internet that has only been installed about three days is no longer installed. Right, and then let's just take one more further walk this way. Um, we talked about earlier how these fallen trees missed your house right here by practically oh, an eyelash of just ripping off the front uh, interior, exterior, and excuse this me. Right here is my bedroom. Oh, so this, window, this right window right here is my bedroom. So as you see, it just missed my bedroom by just literally inches mm -hmm. and the back of our house and stuff is much worse around here. Uh -huh. And if we come around the back of the house, yes. we have just crazy storm damage back here. And just one second, I'm going to give our photographer, Pat, just a moment to catch up with us, just because we do have some branches all around this backyard. We want to make sure he's okay and doesn't trip over anything. 
Give us one second as we follow you. All right. Huge, huge oak tree back here that is probably the width of two or three people that has just completely came down. Okay, all right. And then, and oh my goodness, look at just another down tree right here. Oh, one right in front of us. And then another one right over here and a third one. Oh. That used to be a giant pine tree standing right at the end of our driveway along next to that other one that's still standing. Mm -hmm. But as you see, it's totally down now, so. Okay, Quite the destruction. Our neighbor's trampling that from about four houses down that way. Mm -hmm. And now you see it's in our backyard. Yes. And I know that, you know, you and your family are trying to get things together, so I won't hold you too much longer. I just want to ask you one more question. On our way down here, we did see uh, a lot of officials roping off the area, coming down here. Um, have they said anything to you about when you all can look for these trees to kind of be out of the way? They haven't really told us much yet. They did tell us that as of right now, all the power lines in the area are still apparently live. So they told us, do not go near power lines, do not go outside, like as much as we can, stay inside, stay safe, stay away from the lines but they haven't really gave us a time frame or anything yet okay well i appreciate you so much taking the time out of your day to speak with us um and we just hope that all this gets cleared up and we're so thankful that you and your family are okay despite the damage surrounding your home thank you so so much thank you have a great day yeah you guys stay safe too because this is just insanity out here right now we plan to thank you so much thank you thank you and you know just uh forgive us for the noise you guys can hear them just over there just trying to cut down some trees as you just saw three of them huge trees have just come down but we're gonna take a small break and just keep looking at all the damage and come back to you all when we can in the meantime we're going to toss it over to our very own autumn pitcher who is also in portage